What is up everybody, it is Wick here, and we're out hitting a few yard sales this morning. I only hit about three, I think, this morning. Not a whole lot of action going on, but we go to some thrift stores afterwards, and we even go to the Lowe's and look for some clearance and come out with some good stuff. There's a Blu-ray player, I did end up picking that up, but I walked away from it real quick because I spotted these DS games over here and I wanted to check them out. Unfortunately, it's just a bunch of those, you know, kind of like Bratz games and puzzle games and stuff like that and it's raining outside pretty hard so if you hear the rain in the background that's what that is there's some sports kind of papers there uh i don't think they were worth anything i did pick up an audiobook sealed at that sale so that was pretty nice we're at a new yard sale now and everything on this table said it was free so yeah we're looking for anything good i thought this ink would be worth picking up but i saw it was open I didn't even want it free then. So we head over to the garage, going in the sale, and start looking around. And in this sale, it kind of felt like the time period of the 90s where there could be video games. So I started getting that adrenaline rush <laughs> when I can sense video games. However, they told me they didn't have any. I asked. So that's unfortunate. Got some VHS tapes. Got a VHS tape rewinder, which I was going to pick up, and then I saw that there was a crack on the side. Decided to pass on it. I actually just sold one of those used on Amazon recently for about 50 bucks. I only paid a dollar for it at the thrift store. So they do pretty well on Amazon. A lot of stuff like that does much better on Amazon than it does eBay price-wise. Uh, so yeah, that's why you can get more money up for some of this stuff on Amazon. That's why I quote those prices. Got some more electronics over there. Woman was in the way, but it was just an overpriced uh, speaker that wasn't worth anything. And a VHS player, I think it was 20 bucks. Not for me. Head over to Goodwill and inside, uh, over by the shoes, I spot those nice Nike shoes. $4.99 is all they were. And I spot some more up here. Um, LeBron James shoes of some sort, I believe, when I looked them up. So they went in the cart for $4.99 as well. Uh, one's a $50 pair, one's a $40 pair pre-owned, so we're going to grab those for $4.99. Love to see it. Hats, I don't find a lot of good hats in Goodwills. I don't know why it is. You would think that they would have more cool vintage hats. Maybe they just get picked, or maybe they say, hey, these vintage hats are, you know, dirty and old. No one wants them. They go to the bins. I don't know. Maybe this is one of the things they sell online. No idea. Over here, looking at the shoes, trying to find more. Did not see any toys. There's a Han Solo laying there. It looks very lonely. Somebody will buy him though, not me. And a little My Little Pony plush. I don't think that was worth money. Uh, Lupin Chewy though. No box for it, that game. It seems like that game might have been worth something uh, at some point. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Second guess of myself, I, my brain goes through so much reselling information that it's hard to remember sometimes what, <laughs> what everything is worth. That was a Harry Potter playset, I believe. Uh, it's missing a lot of the pieces. I'm not really interested because of that. A little drone, Star Wars drone thing. Um, apparently wasn't worth it. I don't know. Maybe I looked it up. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember at this point. Are you normal? Sealed game. I put this in the cart, but I guess I didn't buy it for whatever reason because, you know, I didn't buy it. So it must have been, you know, just not worth it on Amazon. I usually sell my sealed games on there. Checking that to see if it's anything good. Uh, was not. Just taking another peek. Coming over here, walking up on this bread maker. I thought it was a Zojirushi one. I picked up one, I think it was the last video. Uh, and I came across two of the same bread makers, uh, same day, crazy. So I thought it was another one. I was about to be like, what's going on with these? Um, not seeing much of anything else that I want to buy on this little in cap. So we head over to the church based thrift store. And before I could even start recording, I found a Tripoli mat. I found a couple pairs of shoes, which are only 50 cents. And you see, see the uh plush here um oh there goes the gopro i dropped it my hands are filled <laughs> you say wick why didn't you just grab a cart well there's only like two or three carts in this place and everyone had them so yeah it's not that big of a store and we're looking on the shelf got this pc pro pad unfortunately not really worth picking up 
An old phone? Actually, that slimline phone, some of those phones are going up in value, those vintage ones. I don't think that one was would have been worth anything because they usually need to be cooler looking. Uh, people want them mostly for decoration, not for use. I uh, didn't spot anything else in this thrift store, I don't believe. I think I got a handheld game. Uh, was that it? Women's shoes, I didn't see anything. Here I am coming with Lowe's, bunch of Dremels, um, incredible deals. Unfortunately, uh, they wouldn't let me buy them. And I'm going to have a rant here coming up. I apologize. I ran about it later on for you know a couple of minutes there. But yeah, kind of ridiculous. But we're in Goodwill now. And I spot this Google Home Mini with books, some sort of read-along set. And $9.99, I ended up picking it up because I can double my money. Uh, there's a solitaire game. It wasn't Radica. Uh, for whatever reason, those Radica games sell very well, pre-owned on Amazon. And they've been trending pretty well for the past few years. I figured they'd go down in value. Sometimes they do, and then they go back up. I don't know who's buying them, who's paying $50 for a, a used you know, Radica game. But uh, people do it. Uh, what do we got here? Some brackets, some off-brand toner cartridges, I believe. Uh, LPN stickers on a lot of this stuff and those LPN stickers are probably Amazon returns or some sort of returns there's another one and it's a bidet I'm not gonna try to sell a used bidet I don't think anyone's buying those uh, I'm not sure if there's a FBA seller around donating stuff but here we're looking at some games in Rock Band 4 for a PS4 Nice game, $4.99. I've already sold it. Sold it the first day I listed it for $45. There's another game there. Uh, the, the game wasn't in the case. Uh, it wasn't worth picking up anyway. I'm just looking at the media here. And there's a Mystery Classics game. Or not game. It's uh, 100 movies for $5.99. Seems like a good deal if you want to watch some movies. You'd think it'd be worth more, but it's like 10 bucks on eBay new. I don't get it know why they're so cheap uh, just not gonna make money on that uh, that was about it I did find this Wii controller though on the way out uh, for a dollar 99 so I grabbed that uh, we're at the I think the last the goodwill of the day maybe and we're just starting our little journey down this aisle looking for those delicious profits uh, what was down here a coffee maker I can't see the brand on that Usually don't pick up loose coffee makers. Uh, some of the KitchenAid ones are kind of worth picking up at $5 uh, pre-owned like that. Uh, usually they have them priced higher though, so I never pick them up. Uh, DVD player. There was a DVD player. I don't know if it was today. Uh, what brand was it? I forget now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was almost worth picking up. Didn't have the remote. There's something I'm looking at. I'm not sure what that is. You can see me in there. Uh, hello, it's me, everybody. Um, I don't show myself on camera a lot anymore. There's uh, some speakers. Jensen, I recently found a bunch of vintage speakers at Goodwill. Not this Goodwill, and been doing well with those. Those were not really vintage. Uh, they were used inside the box, and they weren't worth a whole lot. I think they were only selling for like $15, $20 on eBay. And unfortunately, I think they had them priced $15 at Goodwill or something like that. So no real good money there. Just looking through all this junk, trying to find something. There's a bag. Been buying some decent bags. So I pull it out. Like, what is it? Is it any good? I think it was someone's personal bag. Looked like a kid's. $4.99. Just end up putting that back. Not for me. Head over to the toys, see if we can find anything. The toys have been very poor in this Goodwill for the last month or two. Hopefully that changes uh, around Christmas time. Start throwing out a bunch of stuff, trying to get people to buy it. And there's a Captain America, a little toy. Looks like a dollar store type toy. There's a, what's that from Frozen, that figure? I can't remember the name. I don't know what that was, just like a figure. Some Frozen stuff does pretty well. It's really saturated though. Some dolls in a box. I didn't see anything I wanted to buy. And games. No sealed games. Been a while since I pulled a sealed game out of this Goodwill. Trivial Pursuit 20th edition right there. I have that sealed 
um, I don't know if I got that as a Christmas gift one time or what, but somewhere. There's a Wolverine. I thought it was a vintage Wolverine. I shook it. It was <laughs> pretty beat up. There were broken pieces inside. The arm was coming dislocated. Um, that Thanos I didn't pick up because I have a couple of those listed already. And they have it sold. I uh, picked up at a yard sale for like a quarter. Though there are some fan Thanos figures like that worth more. Hopefully that wasn't one worth more. There's an Incredibles figure I'm noticing there. That could have been worth something. I don't think I noticed that before. I picked up that Racco game. <laughs> Pre-owned, I found that. And yeah, that can sell for like $50 pre-owned. That Anniversary Edition on Amazon for whatever reason. New, I've sold it for $80. Just looking through the clothing. You know, trying to find some vintage clothing. I love to find the cool stuff. And honestly, haven't been finding a lot of vintage clothing lately either. Uh, been a kind of a poor three months for clothing at Goodwill. That's okay. We look anyway. Got to because you just never know what you're going to run into. But I'm going to show you what I picked up today and what kind of profits I expect to make. Let's go over this haul. I got a mix of everything. The first stuff I got on this table is from Retail Arbitrage and the garage sales I went to. Then we'll go over the thrifting stuff. I paid $25 for this electric toothbrush at a garage sale and uh, this was just thrown in with it. I guess it goes with this particular model. If not, this sells for about $12, the brush head. I'm not gonna make a lot of profit on this. I mean, I'm gonna more than double my money. I should make about $30 profit on this. So worth picking up. Looks like it's selling pretty good. Paid a dollar for this Pokino game, and it looks like, you know, on Amazon, I'll make about $7 profit. It's just going to be easy to ship in. Also sell this on Amazon. It is an audiobook, $3, and uh, I think it was selling for about $25 on Amazon, if I remember right. Either way, it's going to be some good profit on that. I love picking up sealed audiobooks and sealed games and stuff to sell. It's just easy. I didn't look up at this Panasonic Blu-ray player. I just went ahead and grabbed it. Figured it'd be worth it. And yeah, I should be able to sell this for about $50 uh, plus shipping. It's got the speaker hookups here, which usually means it's pretty good. I knew at $4, I could at least double my money on the remote. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Then I stopped in Lowe's looking for some clearance and I found a lot of stuff. You may have seen me pull out. I had about six or seven of these in the cart and I paid for them. Well, I went to pay for them. Uh, she scanned them all, put them in the cart, put the stuff in the bags, and she said, well, she went over to an employee and whispered in the employee's ear, and a couple of employees came over and stood by the door. Kind of like what you would do if you suspected someone of stealing something. And then she said she had to call the manager. I said, why? And she told me that they usually don't allow people to buy more than one clearance item, and she had to get it approved. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. So after about 10 minutes of her trying to talk to someone, she finally does, and she tells me I'm only allowed to buy one. I, of course, am not happy with this. It's a clearance item. Lowe's wants you to get these out of the store. They've even had, the CEOs even publicly said, get all the stuff, get all this clearance out of the store when they have those big clearance events where they mark the stuff down. So I tell her I want to talk to the manager. The manager comes over and basically, you know, says, uh, our store manager, this is their policy. This is what they want. I can't allow you to buy it because I don't want to lose my job. And, you know, I, I understand that. I argued with him for a while. I tried to get get him to call the store manager. I guess he wasn't there or whatever. I, you know, it, to me it's ridiculous. And it's not about me, you know, getting some good clearance and buying it all and making money. Um, I mean, it was only going to be like three hundred dollars profit. You know, I can go thrifting in a day and make that. I'm not. It wasn't about that. It was just about the way they treated me. Uh, the logic behind it. There's no signs up saying limit one. I said, what are you going to do if I just pay for this, pay for one, come back in, buy another one? And they just stood there like, uh, well, I don't know. I said, what if I go get some friends to come in and buy them for me? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. He said, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm getting them anyway. Why are you making it difficult? Again, it's not a food item. It's not like medicine. Um, it's a clearance item. They want them out of the store. All I could do is go online and leave a bad review. And these are on clearance as well. And I said, so I'm not, I'm not allowed to buy more than one of these either. And he said, oh no, that's fine. And I just put my hands in my face. I said, that makes no sense. Whatever. I'll just buy one of these Dremels. I'll probably go back tomorrow and buy another one or try to buy them all. And what's even more crazy, I bought like 29 uh, fire extinguisher things at the same store last week without any issue. So I don't know what's going on. I never have any issues with Lowe's buying multiple clearance at any other store. In fact, there's a store I go into where I know the store manager and she begs me to buy everything. <laughs> she says, buy it all, 
get it out of here. But at this store, I guess it's just not fair to the employees. He told me they want every uh, customer to have a chance to buy one. But I said, you know what? They've had a chance to buy them because they're out on the floor. Anyone can come through and buy them. You know, most clearance like this, when you come across it, people buy more than one. They buy one for themselves. They buy one as a gift buy one for their brother. And I do support, you know, retail stores being able to do what they want. I don't think they have to sell anyone more than one of these, but they should at least put up signs. They shouldn't treat me like I'm trying to steal, blocking the door and all this stuff when I've already had my credit card out ready to pay for this stuff. It's already been scanned in my cart. Just ridiculous. I don't want to rant about it anymore. <laughs> Let's just move on. But yeah, I paid $32 for this, marked down from $129. You know, I'm only going to make about $35 profit on it, just barely doubling my money. These right here uh, make about $7 a piece on Amazon. I got four of them. They're just some sort of light tech transformer thing. Here is the thrifting haul, and look at all these shoes. We got some awesome shoe deals we found today. Right here, I got these LeBron uh, shoes. I'm not sure what model it actually is, but... They sell for about $40 pre-owned, and they're in very good condition except for the toe right here, but I have some black shoe repair stuff that will clean that right up. Uh, price them about $40 plus shipping, and yeah, they're only $4.99. Very rare to find any Nike shoe at Goodwill where they don't price them like 30 bucks. Here's the other pair of Nike shoes. I got uh, blackouts. And again, these are in really good condition. You can see $4.99. And these will sell for about $50 plus shipping. At the thrift store, I only paid 50 cents for these Dr. Comfort shoes. I've sold Dr. Comfort brand before. The larger size, the wider sizes usually do better. People who have feet problems usually buy them. They're easy to put on with the hook and loop here. And you know, at 50 cents, I'm, I'm probably just gonna price them $20 a piece plus shipping and it's going to be some good profit. At Salvation Army I picked up these Red Wing work shoes. They got the steel toe uh, or aluminum toe. I'm not sure what it is. I paid $7.99 for them. They look like they've pretty much been unworn. They got a little dirt around the edges here which I'll just clean up real quick. But I should be able to sell these for $30 plus shipping. I got these at Salvation Army as well. They were only $3.99, which is crazy, but what makes it even more crazy is they're half off, so I only paid $2 for these. And uh, this is a $40 pair of Keens, pre-owned plus shipping, and they look like they've pretty much not been worn either, so amazing <laughs> pickup there. But the profit between all these shoes is going to be great. Back here at Goodwill, I picked up this Google Mini home uh with the book set, read-along. Looks like it came from a yard sale, so I priced at $15, didn't sell. I paid $10 for it at Goodwill, and you know what? I'm just going to double my money on it, so I'll make about $10 profit on it. And I picked up this Wii controller, $1.99, and it sells for about $24.99 on eBay. At the thrift store, I paid $0.50 cents for this solitaire game, Radica. You can get pretty good money for this type of stuff, selling it on Amazon, pre-owned, if it's in good enough condition, tested and working, of course. You don't want to send anything in that's too dirty and of course not tested. It's got kind of a high rank, but it's also priced $60 pre-owned on Amazon. I usually price these between $20 and $30 and they always sell. I'll send it in FBA, I'll wrap it up in bubble wrap, label it and everything and you know, it's going to be some good profit if it works. Here's a little bit of a bolo item for you, this Rock Band 4 game. As far as I know, you can't buy this without buying the whole set, which pre-owned the whole set was selling between four and $500, so keep that in mind. If you happen to see that out in the wild, there's a lot of Rock Band stuff. Usually does pretty well, uh, but PS4, PS5 stuff doing very well right now at the time of this video. But yeah, I should be able to sell this between $40, $45, no problem. I don't know if I'll sell it on eBay or Amazon. And then right here, we got a couple of games. Out at the thrift store, I paid 50 cents for this Tripoli mat. I've been finding a decent amount of these. Another kind of bolo, I guess. I sell these on Amazon between $40, $45. And I picked up this Racco game, 99 cents. Right now, there's only one on Amazon. They want $112 for it. That's too high. But I have sold these new on there for $70 some dollars. So, you know what? I'll probably put it on there for about $40, $50. Only 99 cents. It's going to be good profit. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. Some awesome finds. We did a little bit of everything. Garage sales, thrifting, a little bit of retail arbitrage. If I would have got all those Dremels, it would have been an incredible haul, but still a very good haul. No complaints. Before you go, please hit that like button for me. If you enjoyed the video, consider sharing it with some other people. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.